for example 3, we are given that tangent A is negative and cosine B is as well negative. So we are also given that A and B and A and B are both in the same quadrant. So we are not supposed to use the calculator. Um, we are supposed to find a value for uh, sine A, cosine A, and sine B and tangent B and so on. Alright, so how do we approach this question? Well, the first thing first, uh, we have to first figure out where exactly is our angle A and B. Alright, so tangent to be negative, and that will be, well, tangent to be negative must be here and here. Well, because all signs teach you crazy, remember? So it's A, um, S, T, C. Okay, all signs teach you crazy. So a first quadrant and third quadrant tangent is positive and therefore tangent to be negative uh, tangent has to be in the um, well second and or the fourth okay as for cosine right cosine b to be negative okay uh, based on what we know here we know that uh, for cosine to be positive you'll be in the first and uh, or the fourth quadrant so for cosine to be negative you'll be in the second or the third quadrant. So the only place that A and B can be in the same quadrant will be of course the second quadrant. So now we know that okay that's great. I know our angle A is in the in the second quadrant, our angle B is also in the second quadrant. So using the information that we know here, well we know that well angle A has to be in the second quadrant, so we will draw a second quadrant for A and a second quadrant for B. So what we do know is tangent A is 4 over 3, tangent is opposite over adjacent, therefore the opposite side is 4 units and the adjacent side is 3 units. So for angle B, we know that the adjacent side is 5, while the hypotenuse side is 13. So by using our Pythagoras theorem, uh, we do know that well, 13 square minus 5 square um, will give us 144 and that will make this 12. Okay, so Pythagoras theorem shouldn't be a problem for you. Um, 3 square plus 4 square will give me 25, and this will be a square root of 25, and that will give me 5. Okay, so by drawing these two figures out, now it becomes very clear that uh, what we have here will be very easy for us to uh, solve um, what we need to solve. Okay, so for part A, it's actually very easy. We want to sign A. So sine A will be, of course, um, sine this angle in the second quadrant, and that will be 4 over 5. Okay, And sine will be positive because it's the second quadrant. Now for part B, we need to cosine the angle A, and therefore cosine angle A is actually uh, adjacent, which is 3 over the hypotenuse side, which is 5. Okay, So it's 3 over 5, but a negative, well, because cosine is negative in the second quadrant. So we move on to part C. Part C will be, of course, the sine the angle B in the second quadrant, which will make it positive. So you'll be opposite, which is 12 over the hypotenuse, which is um, 13. Okay, and of course, lastly, we need to tangent angle B. All right, tangent angle B will be opposite, which is 12 over adjacent. Okay, but negative. Well, because tangent is negative in the second quadrant.